talk nerdy to me. Talk nerdy to me. Talk nerdy to me. Get nerdy with me. Right now. Also, it's great because Liam O'Brien's in the game. Hey guys. <laughs> And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the return of the show that you all prayed would never come back, and yet here we are. I should have not prayed it never come back. It's Nerds Talking, and I'm your host, Nerdy Thames. I almost said Twitchy, god damn it. <laughs> oh. I wish you did. Joining me this week is Kiatnik. Um, I think I walked into the wrong place. Where's the actual show? Amber! Here I am. Lightning, Ferron! I fucking left this whole entire fandom. You assholes brought me back. I hate you so much. And phaser shift. Yeah, I haven't been here for like three years. What What's going on? I forgot you existed actually at one point in the whole vampire cake thing. Yeah, it's I been a while. Forgot. The whole what? What, were, you the vampire, were you the vampire cake joke, or was that someone else? I don't think that was me. I don't even remember this joke. What the hell? I, I am lost. Yeah, me too. I, call some, I, I don't know who it was. Someone I call a vampire cake. Oh, that's left and came back oh, and God. Oh, no. Bad but, joke. Uh, it, was it was an old joke. joke. It was an old one. meme. It's a classic. I, I it missed it. Out, maybe? Oh, on a completely unrelated note, how in the <laughs> hell do I look up what the uh, topics are? Oh, oh, there's uh, a uh, pin. I pinned it, so you just click on the pin messages up in the top right corner. This is your show. You can't even remember the topics? Come on, man. Things are <laughs> awesome, this is, okay? This is how Look, it usually goes, right? I have never used Discord for anything like this ever. This is my first time. Everybody just be gentle. I mean, with Discord. Application for and I can't get the stream to work on my phone, so it's great. We're just gonna improv the hell out of yeah. this. Fuck it, Jay. We're doing it live. Just say, never mind. Did I... Um, <laughs> who invited anyway... Lightning back here again? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who are not familiar with what this show is, it's about a bunch of nerds coming together to talk about random crap. Right so, I guess, my little you know, pony. nerds that are. Till I eventually derail the conversation. Until eventually we just get bored and kick lightning to another channel, which I don't think we can do on Discord. <laughs> sure we can. Sure we can. <laughs> I mean, sure. we can probably do something else. We'll figure out something. Uh, mute, muter, maybe. <laughs> it just hacks into a computer. I'm in. Now we can move her. Oh, no! <laughs> I'm in. Uh... We're not even five minutes into the or no, we're <laughs> five minutes into the show, and already light or we're already we're talking about kicking lightning. Hooray! <laughs> congratulations! Congratulations! I'm surprised it lightning wasn't five here. minutes before the show. <laughs> it's good. It's good to be back. Ah, uh, this this may be a record for you. <laughs> no, not the time you completely banned me from an episode. That is true. Um, but I anyway, um. Our main, our main goal in this uh, debauchery that is a what we used to call a show um, is eventually we get around to talking about the latest episodes of My Little Pony. Well, we're kind of two seasons behind, so fuck that shit. <laughs> um, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to do what I call the Season 7 Rundown, where each episode this season-ish... We're going to do uh, two episodes. Uh, we need to differentiate right. between pony episodes and nerds talking episodes. Because every right. episode, we're doing two episodes of the other episodes. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. It sounds right. right. By two it's it's going to be like Cora. Everything at once. We're good. By two episodes, I mean we're doing two pony episodes, an episode of nerds talking. So do, do we need to make a flowchart for you, Phaser? <laughs> Essentially, today we will be talking about Sensei. celestial advice. 
uh, Celestial Advice, and I forget the name of the actual episode, so I'm just going to oh, call no, it Trixie Makes Teacups. I think. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I was, I was just going to call something, it something similar to that. that sounds I was right. just going to call it Trixie Makes Teacups. So many teacups. Uh, but we're not there yet. No, we're not there yet. Uh, <laughs> our first episode is going to be Celestial Advice, which was the season premiere and incidentally was the very first season premiere of My Little Pony to not be a two parter. Think on that for a minute. Is it? It must well, mean A, a that a they didn't want to do it, or B, they're running out of ideas. Season three. Oh, season yeah. three was the somber episode. Yeah, season three was somber. Oh, yeah. somber oh. Season finale was just one episode. Yeah. Yeah, season season finale of that was. Uh, but no, uh, all of them have been two parters up until this point. So that means they can get more story done. That's Something I like that. Different hey, guys, listen, I haven't. I I'm going in this fresh. I haven't watched any of the season besides the two episodes I was told to watch. But I don't know what's gonna happen. You're gonna marathon the hell out of the season this, gonna, this, this no, week. No, I want. I'm That's gonna what's gonna happen. Every episode is gonna be a fresh reaction, so I could just be some fucking bullshit. Okay with that. That sounds about right. Uh, our first topic today is uh, Twilight's scenarios. Uh, basically, this is the different scenarios that Twilight comes up with to send Starlight off on uh, in her little Endeavor adventures. Where she thinks that Twilight is, where she thinks that Starlight, these names are AKA such purple, a pain in the ass. AKA Purple Pony Number Two. Uh, where she's going to? Oh, oh my! How dare I get my colors wrong? <laughs> she's she's purplish pink. Purplish pink. Can we just can we say purplish pink? I'm pretty sure that is what magenta is. I think they're both the same color. Sorry, right. it's red. red. Damn it, mixing up the <laughs> fandoms there. Hey, that's perfectly fine. We may get some Ruby talk in this. Who knows? <laughs> Listen, with Matthew. That is mm. that is Spike kissing Starlight. Indeed. That is not a. That is Maybe not a, a, a. Hang on now. That's, that's a Spike screenshot. Uh, but anyway, uh, the different scenarios she comes up with. Um, my personal favorite of them is I really love the changeling one, primarily because I love the idea of one of the changelings going rogue it's and crazy. trying to crazy. trying to sabotage it. That 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 whole part was funny, and especially the whole. So, are you guys bugs or not? <laughs> like, I think yeah. I want to bring up. Talk about things that happen later this season, so I, I need to hold on to that. Yeah, that is going to be one of the hard things. <laughs> hard is that we can't really uh, discuss too much. Uh, whoa, one one quick rule that I'm going to throw out there, just real fast. Uh, movie talk is completely forbidden on this show until a special episode we will be doing later this season. Oh yeah, I still got to watch that. Yes, yes, you do. Along with the rest of the season, you. Fly I don't, I don't even think I watched season six. I don't even remember what happened in season six. I'm still shocked some of the episodes that happened in season six. I'm trying to I remember think. any episode in season six. When, when was the last time you did Nerd Talk? This season? Um, but anyway, uh, the, so the different scenarios that she had going in her head. She had the Changeling one. She had... Um, the dragon one. I feel like I'm missing something. She had the changeling, the dragon one, and the griffin one. Hmm. The griffin? What? I don't even. Was remember. it a griffin? No, it was, um... Oh no, it was um. Yeah, it was the. No, there was there was three there was three visions. There was changelings, dragon empire, and crystal empire. With the. Uh... I don't think she ever fantasized about the crystal. Oh yeah, yeah, she did. The black hole. Look, I linked the picture. The black hole. The black hole. Oh yeah, yeah. With, okay, with, uh, yeah, no, I forgot about that. Sunburst. What's sunburst. sunburst. No, I sunburst. remember. Starburst. I remember when this when this scene was very first shown. Um, oh, they used it as a not freaking, in the episode. As a teaser, yeah. Teaser, yeah. 
Yeah, they use it as a yeah. teaser, and everybody was flipping the hell out, thinking that it was gonna be that they were gonna go back in time and become Star Swirl and the, his assistant. <laughs> oh, like honest, honestly, I wish that that would happen. Like, I wish that somehow Starburst was Star Swirl. Yeah. Like I don't, I don't fucking know how it could happen, but by God, I wish it would. And I wish they didn't cancel Firefly. It's nice to want. <laughs> I too, wish soon. I too, too soon. Too, too soon. How many years has it been? It's not too soon. It, it will never, never not be too soon. soon. Yeah. Hashtag Wash was betrayed. Leaf on the wind. Was it a fox that owned Firefly? Yes. <laughs> Disney could bring well, it back. <laughs> That's well, <laughs> they didn't. They didn't own Firefly, but they anyway, does anyone? Uh, who? 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 who wh which? 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 Which scenario was y'all's favorite? I'd say, the, say, dragon say the dragon one, just for being over the top. Ember, I like, I, my Starlight. <laughs> I do not approve of that picture in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> granted, granted, it could be worse. It could be a picture of them combining it. I've and not it, watched it, a single episode worse. of that show, so I have no idea. It could be worse. It could be a picture of Apple Bloom fused with Wayona. I'm just saying. <laughs> God damn it, I was looking it up. <laughs> Uh, I actually worked with a girl. I actually worked with a girl like all summer who, if you so much as mentioned that episode to you, she threw things at your head. That'd be show that show or that show. Anyways, ironically, my favorite one is the, um, <laughs> it's the third one, just the implication of a black hole killing everything. That, uh, I'd love to see was, more see extreme more. examples of magic like that, so. That's the thing with Starlight that scares me is she seems like she is fucking powerful. Yeah. Like we're talking, she could end the world if she got bored. Powerful. She almost did. Yeah. Well, in True. in well, an idea, sort of more anger, frustration, and rage. Yeah. But like I'm talking, she's sitting in her bedroom one day and just says, "Fuck it, I'm done." <laughs> Into the world. Kaboom! You know, like I wonder what happened if I combined this spell with that spell, and it does not what would with you know existence. What would happen if I put a time spell inside of Rarity's bubble bath? Oh boy! And it was on that day that Starlight was no longer allowed back at the spa. Anyway, uh, moving on. Moving on from scenarios. It, moving on. Oh dear God! You found a photo. <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> oh no, one. that's that's. I know. That's, that's the only one I can find though. <laughs> uh, but anyway, moving on from scenarios, let's actually move on to Starlight herself. So, uh, if only you guys could see the chat. Ah, uh, no, we can see it. I think uh, the uh, audience can't see it. Audience. And the audience can. Let's move on. <laughs> just... <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, so Starlight as a main character. Um, when this character was first introduced, I honestly thought she was just going to be like a reoccurring villain of sorts. <laughs> I didn't think mm -hmm. she was just going to go full on frickin' main character within a season and a half. I really mm -hmm. didn't. I agree. I, I, um, I didn't really like starlight as we saw her at first because obviously she was a villain um and then when she was reformed and joined the good guys i guess you could say i didn't really like her then either but I, i've i've grown to uh to appreciate the new twilight sparkle jr but i for so one or i for one welcome our new our new main seven overlord <laughs> i mean i i rather like Starlight Glimmer. 
Honestly, and I can't believe I'm uttering these words in a sentence together. Much rather the series focus on her than Twilight now. Oh, yeah. It's like, but, oh, yeah it's he, but, he is the thing, though. Wouldn't it just be legitimately the same thing? Because she's basically Twilight now, except <laughs> far more powerful without being <laughs> alicorn. So if that if we if they just follow the plot line and Starlight becomes the alicorn, wouldn't that just basically make us stronger than everyone if she's stronger than Twilight, who is the element You're of talking. fucking magic? You are talking about a show that literally had characters jump the shark. That they I'm did. Just saying. <laughs> is this again? I'm just saying. <laughs> again, this season six doesn't blur to me. <laughs> this is this is a five. show. Was that season five? Oh that, god! <laughs> How long oh, have I been I gone? Think it was season four, actually. <laughs> Listen, no, this is like Legend of Zelda: five. Breath of the Wild bullshit. I've been asleep for a hundred years. <laughs> Fucking, I can't remember shit. But am I All I know is that like Discord is in the background of that yeah, picture five. looking very pissed off. <laughs> he is not a popcorn, my bad. Uh, am I the only one here that actually likes Starlight more as a villain than I do as a character? Who? Well, I, I like Starlight a heck of a lot more I as liked a villain her, than a I liked her as a villain when she was trying to destroy the world, but when she was running that village, she was kind of annoying. Just throwing, yeah, just throwing that in there. But her personality just completely changed from when she was running the village to being a student. Like before, she was that sort of almost motherly dictator type person. Um, I honestly believe several years but, older than the main six. Yeah, and um, like I would picture her with like a gray, tightly wrapped bun, almost. McGonagall style and and looks down at me. Uh, but now that she's the student, she seems like a, a gamer chick tomboy sort of person with the personality. Oh, Just, I was say, wait, oh I was my god, I shipped the hell out of that. Out of what? Uh, if, you've actually, if you've seen the Equestria Girl short where she actually appeared, she's a I could fully see her she's being a, a uh, yeah, I could see her being the gamer girl chick. Yeah, and it's just, it, it's so different than her personality at the start that it's like, it, it seems almost, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's just... Jarring? Yeah, it's it's one of those things where it's like a person doesn't, or a pony doesn't change that much. Like, it's it's not even just because she was angry before or whatever. She just changed complete 180 in, in the type of pony that she is, that she is being good to good bad or whatever but it's just, pinky it's just... pinky drugs her cupcakes every morning maybe eh, maybe she takes special medication is her special medication. she gives her special medication via <laughs> cupcakes she has to hide them in the Star cupcakes or she won't eat them starlight take your starlight here have a snickers why because you turn into a psychotic dictator when you're hungry <laughs> yeah. But, um, I mean, I, I fully agree with you, Phaser. Like, she did a complete 180, and honestly, she grew on me as a character because yeah. I like the new I, Twilight. Or, I did Twilight. not. <laughs> Starlight better than the, the new Twilight. Well, she she's she's freaking. Freaking adorable is what she is in, in, in this. And <coughs> I said, I actually kind of prefer her over Twilight now, prim Twilight's primarily because. Twilight? With with Twilight, it was like, yeah, she's gonna be friends, blah blah blah. Who gives a Ryan Rat's ass? In this, it's like, wow, Starlight's actually struggling with this shit. She yeah. still has a long way to go too. Like she's her. not done yet. Like Twilight is. Yeah, right. And Twilight was was so book smart. It just was like she was always freaking out. Always, oh, I wrote a read a book about this, but. That is literally Starlight. an episode Starlight. later on, too. Yeah. yeah. Um, Starlight, I gotta think before I say the names, is more just, I guess, kind of a natural. I mean, I know they said she studied for years and stuff to become that powerful at magic, but it's she really seems like 
where Twilight researches spells and plots them out, Starlight just kind of does them because she can. And seen in last season, actually, uh, in Trixie's episode where Trixie came back, where she tried to take over Big Mac by making forcing him to talk because she didn't like silent people. Twilight's like an in between of uh, Starlight Glimmer and her friend in uh, the Crystal Empire, whose name I forget. Sunbeam. Yeah, Sunbeam. Sunburst. Sunburst. Sunburst, whatever the name is. Where Sunburst is really studious but can't really do much magic, whereas Twilight has some potential and she's really studious, and uh, Starlight well. just has like a whole bunch of freaking potential. Yeah. Like they kill seems. a man in one seems. in one go. Yeah. Yeah. Is she like, has the ability to just create a spell so powerful spell offhand, so offhand that offhand. It, it destroys continents. If it hadn't been for the magic barrier, I'd be willing to bet she could have blasted Chrysalis into the next anime. She could have blasted Chrysalis right into the Equestria Girls' word, world, turned around, looked at everybody else, and said, who the fuck is next? Fucking try me. That's how powerful she is. Maybe. Which, honestly, Maybe. I would not be surprised if, in some way, she is a descendant of Star Squirrel. I really would not. I want them to do a Descendant of Star Swirl story. I'm Star sorry. Swirl Glimmer. I wonder if we're ever going to get like a, a genealogy type thing of of the ponies. Like we already kind of had a genealogy of at least Applejack and Pinkie Pie. That hardly counts. I don't think they'll go that far into it, unfortunately. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, but anyway. Uh, our next topic is Celestia is a freaking troll, but after actually watching the episode, I'm sorry, Ember, I forgot to tell you about this. It occurred to me she doesn't actually do much trolling in this episode. Yeah. I mean, she, she laughs a lot. Of, yeah, makes the, uh, uh, the uh, fantasies I, and... She, 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 critiques, she critiques the hell out of everything Twilight says, but at the same time, she's not really trolling. I mean that last. She's letting her thinker on her own. <laughs> but I do, I do love how when uh, Twilight says the whole Celestia knows what'll happen, Celestia's <laughs> immediate response is, "I did not know that I was, or that I was an expletive." Expression. Or, expression. Yeah, I did not know that I was an expression. Fitting one. But then she but... goes on to be the exact opposite of said expression. Because or even I do said, not know. Yeah. Well, you just said only Celestia knows, but then even Celestia says she doesn't know. Yeah, and that that see, I'm just I I just love that her immediate response, like you could you could snap your finger and it was just like instantly there she was that she knows. didn't know she was an she expression. And that's what I mean by she's she's trolling is because she knows exactly what Twilight's decision is going to be. She already knows the minute she walked into that meeting with Twilight what was going to go down. Probably. And that's yet likely. she's playing she's playing Twilight like a house of cards. When does yeah, she it gets canceled like because <laughs> It's canceled because it, yeah. because it turns out Celestia had uh, sexual allegations. What? Basically, um, uh, no Celestia. Remember? Celestia, yes. Uh, we're talking about. There's a Netflix show called House of Cards that starred Kevin Spacey. Oh, uh, got canceled. It got canceled in light of recent events, which we can get to on the news hashtag segment. Hashtag. It's a good thing I didn't. Oh, get that to reminds me. We don't have Ditsy. So, who wants to take over the news segment? When oh, I've already got it covered. That? Oh, I've already got it. Cool. Ember's got it covered, everyone. What don't happened? worry about it. <laughs> She's dead. Uh, she is not dead. She is currently Engaged planning out some life. Well, I was going to keep it a surprise for her to reveal when she was ready. But oh, sorry, there you I didn't go. realize. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize. <laughs> Hashtag get fucked. By the way, look quack. I know you're watching. Well. Uh, but uh, one thing I did want to bring up real quick, uh, since we didn't even actually ever got to discuss this, 
What do you guys think of the new changeling look? Like the the the, the neo uh, neo changeling. I feel like we should discuss this at a later episode. I think they're adorable. I okay, well, <laughs> Fraser, Fraser brings a point. We can actually do this in a thorax-centered episode. True. Because yeah. there, 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 there is a thorax episode later, I think. Mm-hmm. There is. Uh, so we'll bring that up on a later date. <laughs> but yeah. But does anybody uh, have anything to add to Dear Celestia? Uh, the whole thing uh, about Luna couldn't get the medal over thorax's antlers. I it's knew just... I should have grabbed that screenshot. <laughs> that, that was ah. unnecessarily awkward when it's a pony that can or it's a a pony that can literally raise the moon and keep it in the sky um can't you just like you know stretch the thing and then shrink it again and b thorax is a freaking changeling he can't change into a form that doesn't have antlers just for a second or just no. kind of shrink them on his head you know nope that makes too much sense no, no, because we needed the commentary from Pinky, obviously. I guess so. Yep, it was just necessary. Kind of tried forced humor that didn't really work, or even just so, freaking have a clasp in the back. I, I agree. I didn't want to hear me. The, the new look happened after, after season six, right? Yeah. Yes. The thing happened yeah. that I don't know about. To give you a quick summary, Dear Lightning, basically Starlight, Trixie, Discord, and Thorax all went to the Crystal Kingdom and bitch slapped yeah. the fuck out of Chrysalis. Uh, the Changeling Kingdom. You said uh, sorry, what did I say? You said oh, Crystal. Okay, yeah, Changeling. Oh, I meant Changeling oh. Kingdom. They went mm-hmm. to the Changeling Kingdom and basically told Chrysalis, no, you stop that shit. That's a bad pony. Bug did thing. It, did it just against Chris bottle? Like, no. <laughs> kind of. And then Chris was like, I will say this and ran away. I will say this. I'm actually surprised they didn't redeem Chrysalis in that episode. Like, I am legit shocked. No. I, well, I'm glad they didn't because she's a villain through and through. God, it's yes. Like, and I hope she remains so. We can't be redeeming anyone, everyone now. Who are we going to find? Dun, dun, dun. Can, can, we, can, we, can we redeem? Can we redeem her and have a like, lesson? Oh, yeah. This whole thing about. She becomes Twilight's new student. She becomes Starlight's student. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag, hashtag 20 more seasons, Morty. 20 more seasons of Chrysalis. Just just Chrysalis and Starlight, oh, Morty. That's all, that's all we're going to get. When the hell is the next season of that next amazing season of show that coming season. out? Because that's far more interesting. When they finally release some goddamn Szechuan sauce for everyone to enjoy. What? Hashtag 2019. You, you and the fandom, the reason why I want to die. I have lost hope in this fandom because of, uh, of Anyway, anyway, anyway. Moving on to our next topic, which is now bringing us in. Unless, Phaser, did you have something to add? Sorry, sir. Sorry, I'm sorry. No, I kind of forgot what happened the rest of the episode. It was a pretty figure. Oh, right. Pretty figure. Basically, to give a rundown of what happened the rest of the episode, uh, Twilight was like, got... Congratulations, Starlight. Surprise, you graduate. And Starlight was, was like, nah, bitch, I want to stay. Actually, it also brings up another end. thing. Isn't this thing. also like the first episode that wasn't really like a big bad plot? Right, and this yeah, was also here. another. Yeah, this was another. This was like what's known as a cold season opening, where they really didn't do anything plot wise other than say, "Yeah, Starlight's here to stay. Enjoy." It, it, it reminds me. Well, of like... she graduated. Right. But even then, she turned around and said, I'm not ready to graduate. Diploma is a mere. Going to master's school. <laughs> yeah, teach me more, a Master's in freshman and yeah. friendship. Is this all just to give it to the payment scheme? Of, I, um, um, I totally used the wrong fucking word there, and none of you called me out on it. Thank you. you. Thank you so you. much. I didn't even notice. Oh, I missed it. I, what you I, said. I, said, I said, teach me more, senpai, but I meant teach me more, sensei. <laughs> oh, I mean, well, I thought that yeah. was perfectly yeah. normal. Since, 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 <laughs> I didn't even blink. <laughs> they could be up a class, man, could teach you shit too, and then they would not notice you. Because Sakamoto Kun's too. Yeah. Sakamoto Kun's anyway, too. That's basically what happened was Starlight graduated, but then she was like, but I'm not ready to graduate, teach me more. And then she got a mirror. Which. <laughs> 
which Very totally shiny, doesn't yeah. lead to any other dimensions. Oh, just a normal boring just mirror. Be disappointed. She looks so happy. Compared to God, in the picture with Pinky, it looks like she's covered in cream. Oh. 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 <laughs> what? Flowers. What were you? What yeah. were you two up to? <laughs> also, if you notice with these pictures, and looking at them now, it's a different art style. Making buns in the. It is a little bit different, isn't it? The yeah. pictures have always been a different art style, usually. Yeah, little, little, little bit, bit yeah. I didn't want to just ignore my oh, joke. I guess. We just ignore you, Lightning. To be fair, that we is just have. Fair, that is can we just have the picture in the bottom left become the new picture that's sent to Celestia every beginning of the season? Please? Please? <laughs> Is there going to be a red X through Twilight? What? Or little hearts, what? maybe? Depending on who. Little hearts around her and Trixie. <laughs> anyway, um, so that brings us finally, full circle, not really, around to uh, the second episode up for discussion which was brought to my attention, is called All Bottled Up. This spoke to me. This got two wheels. It's, Tixie, mm. it's Trixie's tea tragedy. <laughs> it got Trixie, two wheels. It got two wheels. AKA, also known as Trixie What the Fuck. Trixie, you had one job. That's the name of this episode. Uh, so our first topic on this one is Teacups, Teacups Everywhere. This is basically, oh my god, that picture is the most beautiful <laughs> thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> this topic is basically all about uh, Trixie's, oh, wow. got, Trixie ADHD. basically ADHD. fucking up. Oh, uh, about what, Phaser? Don't worry about it. You know Trixie's um, just pretty much ADHD ADHD's material, ADHD. right? I actually can see it. Like, I can see her having ADHD as she has extreme um, narcissism. When does ADHD have yeah. narcissism? Um, well, ADHD that's what I'm saying. It's not a disability for hype, attention deficit hyper. Basically, you're too hype. Well, too hyper to pay it. Shit. But she wasn't hyper. She was just over uh, over no, exerting she herself. I thought she was hyper. No, she was like she always, was, always yeah. excited. If anyone has ADHD, it's Pinky. Just saying. <laughs> you know, um, you know what you need. Um, but what I think back to learning disabilities, I will not say what I think Pinky has. Um, at least Trixie was really trying to a be a good student to Starlight and b be a good friend. She just wasn't very good at it, but she was still trying. You know what you need? A teacup. Yeah. Um, I honestly don't remember the teacup I, sequence, but okay. It was the opening sequence. It totally just I, I, I everything believe you, I just don't remember it. That's, that's literally the thing. Honestly, though, I will say this. I have yet to see everything this season has to offer, and this was my favorite episode so far. <laughs> uh, believe it or not, it gets better. Doing this really? Because I thought it was actually a really good episode and thought it really fantastic. I mean, it was a lesson. good episode. I hated it so much the first time I watched it. <laughs> I really? It yeah, no, yeah. And that, I was actually... Guys, here's the thing. The first time I watched this, this was legitimately the first Trixie episode I ever despised. Hmm. And then I actually watched it again on Netflix. I was like, oh, this is actually a lot better than I remember it. Yeah, this time oh, when I watched it for the show today, I liked it a lot better. But the first time I watched it, oh my god, I was so uncomfortable Why? through the whole thing. It's, it's it's really just a whole bunch of, god damn it, Trixie! Yeah. Stop. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, but it's still. Oh, and I remember. Yeah, that that part was cringy. That part was cringy. I remember Dude. watching it for the first time and thinking, "This is not the Trixie I love. This is not the Trixie I love. What are they doing? They're making her an idiot." And then I realized, like what Phaser said, she idiot. wasn't an idiot. Like she wasn't an idiot. She was just trying to impress her friend with with her newfound abilities. And she was excited. Like, that's all she was. She was excited because she got to actually cast real magic for the first time, which also kind of confused me because it's in levitation. I think the stream might be and dying. have the stream might be dying. And have magnificent hair. Yeah, it, the, someone's asking where did the sound go. And I'm the sound down the screen. 
Uh, yeah, think... It wouldn't be an Everything's episode. fucking broken. Back. Yeah. Fucking wouldn't be an Earth Soft episode you, if, we didn't, if we didn't have technical difficulties. Yeah, just reload. Can you guys reload hear us? Back. Are we back? Okay. But uh, basically, I mean, I wouldn't say Trixie has ADHD per se. I would. Um, like I said, it's more extreme narcissism is what she has. Nar uh, I believe she, the term is very personality smart. disorder. I mean, she was uh, trying to press Don like like she was her alcoholic father. Be a or sport. guilted Be a lover. Yeah. Or. Or if you're like me, See, if you try I don't know to who her, I think that was Ember. Thank you for the reference. Thank you for getting it. That was me. <laughs> oh, Faisa? Yeah. Oh, I thought what? it was Ember. Listen, or, I or, All your voices meld. Or, <laughs> or, or if you're like me, she's trying to impress her to get her into bed. <laughs> God, I, 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 I ship this OTP. hardcore. Yeah, I, I'm Pinky. OTP. You no. saw the picture. You wait, saw the wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Who in Pinky? Dala, you saw the picture. You saw the cream on her face. If anything is <laughs> they want bacon. Pinky. They were eating. It's, it's the statue. The statue is the one that you're pairing with Pinky. The X statue. I'm not familiar with. The... Oh, from the What's Griffin that? episode. Yeah, the Griffin episode. <laughs> but um, I completely Jared. forgot that was a thing. I mean, it's also tricks. <laughs> You, you know, Tammy, if you keep going on about the Starlight and Trixie shipping, I'm going to have to find some pictures for you. And every time I find pictures for you, you hate it. This, it. this, this is a truth. Do it. I'm just not mm. a big, I'm just not a big porn person. Never have been. But, a, like, weirdo. um. Weirdo. But it, to, to, to me, she was more trying, again, to impress Starlight, which, take it as shipping or just trying to impress a friend, whatever you want to do. She was just trying to impress Starlight. And that's why the episode actually ended up growing on me, is because I realized, you know, I once again, I relate to Trixie, where I try to do things to impress my friends. Oh, she is still the Trixie I know and love. I thought it was just a great episode about why you shouldn't bottle up your emotion. Though that's also kind of for someone who bottles up emotion. Well, that emotion. too. That too. And we'll get that. That is one of the topics that we'll get to. Um, but we kind of segued into the second topic here inadvertently. Uh, but basically, Trixie has also more or less become a, I wouldn't call her a main, main character. But she is definitely a much more prominent part of the series she than she has was. Built the role of Spike to Trixie. <laughs> the Spike has been demoted I to would... background. Wait, are you implying that Trixie is Spike's, or that Trixie is Trixie's own Spike? Yes. I want you. To, I want you to think about what you said, Katnik. So did you just turn the shift to incest? As Starlight is the Trixie. It. Okay, that's what you meant. You meant Starlight, not... You what said I, Trixie yeah. is the new Spike I Trixie. know what I mean, and you know what I know what I know I mean. Do I? But do you do know I? But do you know that I know what you know what you mean? Of course you do. So listen, I'm fucking Everyone stupid, is. and now you're starting to confuse me. Let's stop. Who the hell is stupid? <laughs> anyway, um... <laughs> when, when I very... Here's the thing, is when... The, when I very first started watching this series, Trixie was the first character I ever really latched onto. I have no fucking idea why, outside of, honestly, I, I kind of feel for the person trying to impress others and be loved. I can really feel for that. Uh, I used to be the same way. And part of me always kind of wished that she would join the main cast, that she would become a main character. It kind of feels like I'm slowly getting my wish. And I don't know that I like it. Like, it's, it's, I discussed this with Ember a few days ago, where it feels like this is maybe too much of a good thing kind of deal. Where you finally get what you want and you're just like, hmm, not sure if I still want. You know what I mean? Game of Thrones series. 
season, I mean. Or? Basically, in the new Game of Thrones season, I can relate to this, but like we started getting what we want, and then I start I actually ha- I started having less interest in the show. I no, think I, I just, know what you're talking no, I about. I think no, I think I know what you're talking about, and yeah, that's a different discussion for another day. Fine, I thought it was relevant. Whatever. No, I mean, it it is, it is, but I'm saying we're not going to bring it up. We're not bringing up what specifically it is I think you're talking about. I mean, it's just all the new season in general. We got a lot of things that we wanted. But that's what I'm saying, though, is it feels like Trixie is slowly integrating into the main cast. Now, granted, this season she was only in, I think, like, three episodes, maybe. It's still a heck of a lot more than she's had in the past. It's a lot more than Applejack. <laughs> it's <laughs> funny. It's <laughs> funny because it's true. Hashtag Trixie's the new... Hashtag Trixie is the new Applejack. Actually, God, if anything... Damn, I fucking hate if, Applejack. If, 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 we, if we go on the assumption that Starlight is slowly forming her own version of the main six... I would actually place Trixie as Rarity, which really fucking hurts to say, because I am one of the biggest non-Rarity fans you'll ever find. I'm sorry. But I'm sorry. Have we not talked in a her, long time? Not talked in a long time. No, he's always hated. I her. honestly, I could I said one of the. I could see I her. Yeah, I'm one of the biggest non-Rarity. You, you, non- you lost that. You people. lost that privilege when you liked a Rarity episode. But no, I could see uh, Trixie being Rarity with the sort of um, the, the conceited self-image sort of thing. Yeah, I agree with that. Ow. Are that we gonna get songs? Like I kind of feel. Rarity. Rarity. So are we gonna get songs think... that have to remind us of her generosity every now and again? I would actually love for Trixie to get another song. <laughs> hey guys, remember I'm the element of generosity. He has a song about it. Oh, speaking of the song, oh, there was a song oh, in this episode. Andrew. Oh yeah, was there? Was there? <laughs> there was. Yes, there was. <laughs> that, led there was joke. that led to the best joke in that episode. It, it really, it really did lead to the greatest joke that they've ever done about songs. I need to do this. Like I re- this episode again because I don't remember this song. Like it, I don't remember this song. Basically, the song was the whole "You guys are my friends and we can do anything together." Blah blah blah. Oh, that's while song. they're in the yeah. escape room. Oh god! And it it sounded like a joke it, song at it, first, but it ended up being so good. Yeah, it, I just remember <laughs> watching that. Um, that was right before I actually went to an escape room, or right after, with some of my friends. So I was found that amusing. Quite relevant. So fucking! And it, it took me. It was so fucking it, great that uh, not <laughs> only did the. Not only did the escape room pony, I forget the, the, the character has an actual name. I just yeah, forget but what the, the, the escape room operator. The escape room operator actually outright <laughs> says that was a great song at all, but you still got to turn the key. <laughs> yeah. And, so the actually, acknowledging, that, yeah, that was acknowledging that. Yeah. Acknowledging that yes. Like yeah, that, that not only did they break the fourth wall, but I like how later it's brought up again. Yeah, where they're we, saying, oh, we had a great time. We learned how to work together when we not to sing a song. <laughs> we learned when not to sing a song. <laughs> mm-hmm. I laughed at that. That was funny. It was, it and was that a fantastic show. From, it was a fantastic show. And that coming from Pinky made it even better. Oh, God. The fact that... that next episode. Uh, but yes, thank you for reminding us about the song, Ember. Yeah, yeah. I I like the I'm the I'm the song good. person. I could never let that slip under the radar. Looks at the ta- topics. Still, that, it says movies right there. Still, still not the best song in the season yet. But we'll we'll get there. We'll get there. Wait, yet? I thought the season was over. <laughs> know what I mean? Damn it! <laughs> I actually no, didn't. I, I actually legitimately thought the season wasn't over. I just had a stupid Man, moment. I can't wait till next week. <laughs> I can't I wait might, until we... 
<laughs> Next this week is, on My Little Pony, this is Pinky fresh. has this a is fresh to me, okay? <laughs> I fucking hate you. All right, so let's move on oh, to the next topic. God. Oh, God, what's the next one? Oh, yeah. Mm, girl, you got some anger issues. Oh, Why God. that came out is country. God damn it, it's still country. Hell. <laughs> well, probably Hell. ain't no help for you, partner. Listen, I was trying to sound I was trying to sound like Ditsy doing her Valley Girl voice and I failed. Okay, I'm Girl, sorry. You got some problems. I will say this also led to the second best joke was the ah nuts. Loved it. <laughs> what? Nuts. And, and, ah nuts! <laughs> oh, oh nuts. Fresh roasted walnuts. It also I think they were peanuts actually. Cinnamon nuts. I think they're almonds. I they were also, cinnamon nuts. Almonds. I do have a story about that. I was downloading I was downloading something. Hey, hey, I don't hey, want to hey, hear a story about your nuts. No, I mean, well, yes, of course. Who, who, I don't wants, want them. who wants who wants them? Who but, wants um, Trixie nuts? But, um, <laughs> so I was downloading a game while I was watching nuts. while I was watching the video and it just all of a sudden I hear the guy goes, My nuts and just pauses. <laughs> and I die laughing. Says it on my nuts stand. He just <laughs> I couldn't breathe. Can, can we say this is also Bulk Biceps who's saying this? Yes, this is Bulk Biceps. Just want to point that yes. Out. yes, this is Bulk Biceps screaming. Um, and I even brings up, well, I have a second job. I work uh, at the spa on weekends, but I also ah, sell my wait. nuts there. Oh yeah, something like that. I don't remember. Or is it like I'm a I'm a I'm a stallion of many hats? I think is what he says. Something like or that. Or no, I, I wear many hats. Like and that. then he's like, oh, I'm late and, my second job. And can we just point that that's actually a callback to a previous episode as well? Isn't he like a fucking like like that has a job everywhere? No, he's a he's an unofficial Wonderbolt. I thought he was a reserve. Like he's he's, he was a no, yeah, yeah, he's a reserve. Yeah. He's he, no. that's why I said he's an unofficial Wonderbolt. No. no, he he just was in the Ponyville's uh, team for the, uh, the the Pegasus race. Yep. So I don't think he's associated with the one bolts at all. So anger issues. I could have sworn I could have sworn that uh, he was. I could it was the episode with uh, lightning dust, where he was one of the ones that was in the academy. Oh. Oh yeah, he may have been at the academy. Yeah, he was that, actually. He was. I remember bolt this. Actually, actually Anyways, but yeah, again, anger I issues. also brief yeah, anger issues. Yes, anger issues. So. I gotta say that this actually the way she was doing this was pretty freaking dark mm -hmm. for for My Little Pony. Mm -hmm. Just the whole the fact that it actually manifests as a red cloud and she sucks it into a bottle. I mean that's I mean, just quite literally bottling it up. Yeah, I mean, yeah no it's, no shit. I mean, it's, it's it's the metaphor in physical form, but yeah, also uh, it wasn't up. like. It, it kind of seemed like when she was doing that, that she'd get angry and the cloud would start coming out of her horn and wanted to do stuff. But I'm pretty sure that was her spell was bringing it out in cloud form. I mean, probably, obviously, but it's it's just something. Well, like, no, the cloud came, came out before she used the spell. But... The weird thing is, if you actually pay attention to the dialogue, it's kind of implied that only she could see the red smoke. Uh, ah. because Trixie, ah. because Trixie watches her have one of her episodes and then just immediately says, was your bag glowing? She doesn't ask about the red cloud. She just asks, you know, hmm. did your bag just glow? Hmm. So it's actually kind of implied that the red cloud might've been in, in Starlight's mind. I don't know. I like, Maybe. that's just me speculating. I have to well, go back and watch it. Well, but did it, doesn't Spike see the cloud? I don't. It, he doesn't actually say it, does he? Oh, that's true. Yeah. No, because Starlight's oh, like, you see this cloud above my head, and then Spike doesn't really respond. I think he was just scared of. Yeah. Or maybe, but he, maybe but he, he, he still he still recognizes it though. Like you can like you can see him like look at it. He still recognizes like waves his mm. brow at it, like confused about what it is. But he he still sees it. He still and to be fair, most of the scenes they. In most of the scenes, they make a point to show that Trixie has her eyes closed or is looking in a different direction when the cloud comes out, until the very last moment when she sees the bag glowing. Yeah. Right, but that's what I'm saying is she doesn't acknowledge the cloud. Like she doesn't immediately say, "Oh, there's a uh, cloud above your head." She goes, uh, she just goes, "Did your bag just glow? Gimme. I mean, Let me see what's in there." 
She's pretty oblivious. It that's, made her... that's what I was saying earlier is that they made her out to be oblivious, but you just can't see around be... the size of her huge ego. I thought you could say dick. Huge! <laughs> Tracks of man. Tracks of man. <laughs> Uh, but she did, I mean, she did legitimately notice something. She did notice something was wrong with her friend because she does ask, like, are you okay? You're looking a little lichalala. Well, that's what I also kind of like. It also leads into, when you bottle your emotions, it also kind of leads to, like, depression. You just look tired and exhausted. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, it was physically started to haunt her. That's another thing I was going to point out was that it actually started looking like you just wanted to give Starlight a hug and say, "Oh, oh, poor babe." Oh, that she was going to find I, a new. I just want to give her a hug, hug, regardless of how she's currently feeling. <laughs> just saying. Why do you? But I also like how. Hugs? I also like how when the when the thing breaks, it goes into Granny Smith and. Uh, the other ponies, um, biceps, pretty sure. bulk biceps and bulk biceps and jewelry store pony. I don't think she ever actually got a name. You hit them. There are there are so many side characters in this series. I've given up trying to remember names. I'll be yeah. honest. Right? There's so many main characters in this series. It's hard enough with that. I will also sadly report right? there was no lightning pony in these two episodes. Oh, oh, you poor bastard. How will yeah. you ever survive? I know. I still suggest there was never one to begin with. What was the what was the stupid name they made for that character? Because it was it was it was, it was Twilight's friend. Uh Twilight Ah oh, from that... Amending Fences. Yeah. I, there was never a right. It was an amending name. fences, but I just I can't remember the name. Don't remember their names? No. I do know that we finally I do know we finally learned who the hell Lemon Drops was. Lemon Drops. Because I remember having a talk with Katnick about how I bought this box set of ponies and it came with Lemon Drops. Oh, yeah. oh and was it was it was it before they released the name and we just didn't know who the fuck it was. I have no idea what the is. Anyway. Anyway. Um Oh, it's so, Twinkle Shine. That's what his uh, her, fucking name was. Her oh, anger God. Yeah, Twinkle Shine. Uh but anyway, uh her anger issues. Does anybody have anything to add? Anything I mean, to it, add? Anything? Good, good way of saying that don't not to bottle it up and show how it gets out and i don't remember where i was going with this so carry on well no it, it was it was, i think it Marlon was makes uh, some I great angry was, faces again looking at it yeah, this it is, is a children's show children watching it they can understand now the expression following up your emotion better mm -hmm. with a physical like rep a visual representation of actually doing it also a physical representation so it's it's good to see that mental health or like well stuff like that I will mm -hmm. I do consider that mental health, um is still being represent uh represented. God, I I'm can't fucking speak. Holy I'm shit! It's okay, I hear took you. Seven seasons to get to a, a moral like this. Well, well they've I mean, done a few of them. They've done a few like the five stages of grief. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I don't really count that I, as like. God, that was. Yeah, that they kind of sidestep that so but, much that it doesn't really count. Yeah, they, but, I mean, they but they still they, they had an still episode. Still they had an episode with Trixie for Christ's sake, where she went to the point of you know, fuck it, if I die, I die. She did. So go, I mean, it's not uh, like Pony hasn't done dark stuff in the back. I most it doesn't. It doesn't such a I mean, it's not like Pony hasn't gone anger. dark. Mm -hmm. They but, they talk about serious issues serious and topics issues. in kid friendly ways that. Is actually really good. Like, it, did they do an autism right. episode? Did they do an autism? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, uh, autistic uh, pony. Not that's an autistic pony. I mean, unless we counting Mod, one of her episodes. Mod, Mod isn't odd. I mean, well, no, she has Aspergers. I thought. But again, it's just nice seeing that uh, the like these conditions are being. Joan and mm -hmm. children's being represented. Represent I, I do have 
another example of that, but it's in a later episode this season, so... Oh, no. Save it for that season. I am going to, and I'm definitely going to bring it up when we get to that episode. You mean Good. save it for that episode? You mean... Right? Yeah. I can't wait to watch but it. But anyway... Are you a like anyway, season? anyway. Huh? Do you anyway. see future seasons, Lightning? I'm sorry, you bugged out again. What's up? I said, do you see the future seasons, Lightning? Because no, I you said mean... you wanted to talk about it in the future season. Oh, did I say future season? Yes, I can yes, see the future. Do. Okay, anyway, uh, got to wrap up this episode. We're nearing an hour. Right, so it's uh, time to move on to the non-pony segments of our show. I'm throwing the microphone over to Ember with her presentation of Anime of the Week. What? No. So news. We're doing news. Or what? We're doing news. Fine, news. Well, I thought we were doing... Jeez. I'm going off what the Jeez. topics list says. Oh, I think something crashed. Fine, do your news stuff. Something crashed. Do your news stuffs. All right, so uh, we're going to start with kind of the big thing that happened this week was their release oh, about snap. reports of Disney wanting to buy 21st Century Fox. Yay. Hey, yep. Which is a big deal for us Marvel fans because, you know, Disney owns Cinematic Universe and 21st Century Fox owns the rights to pretty much everything that they can't ever use. See, that they can't ever... I just want to say I love Disney's because they've been trying for years to at least get the rights to the X-Men and the Fantastic Four mm -hmm. and Deadpool. Mm -hmm. And Fox has always been like, no, these are our toys. You can't play with them. So Disney's just like, all right, we're going to buy you. <laughs> so that's that's the hope. Uh, full disclaimer, though, it sounds like it's possible the talks have seized at this point. Uh, but we'll see whether Which, or not That could be either happens. a good thing or a bad thing. Well, I mean... I realize, I, just remember, just because talks ceased doesn't mean that means that they lost. Yeah, it could... It just means um, they haven't... Yeah, it could. They just they haven't made the official announcement yet. Right. Good. Could be. I honestly... what From what I read, from what I read, they're not trying to buy Fox itself. They're just trying to buy the rights to a lot of their franchises. Like, uh, they're trying to buy Avatar, they're trying to buy, of course, the Marvel stuff, and they're also trying to buy The Simpsons. Don't... Avatar is in the... Like, like the James Cameron Avatar? Don't they already own that? Yeah, I mean, like they the pretty much turned their Animal Kingdom yeah, into James Avatar Cameron. Land. They turned part of it into it. They did that with a, with a deal between Fox, but now they're trying to, like, like own hmm. rights to it. Incidentally, if they do buy 20th Century Fox, and I'm just throwing this out there, they will own the Alien franchise. Let that sink in. Disney <laughs> used to have an Alien rock. You think of Disney. Universal? No, I'm thinking of Disney. No, sure. Disney did used to have an Alien. No, Disney. It was about. the Alien Encounters. It was kind of a, a interactive show more than anything else, kind of. Uh, it they got turned, turned around and just Green Escape. But yeah, I, just now, remember, like, I just remember it's Stitch's Great Escape, and then I don't know. But I remember when I was really little, like six or eight years old or something, uh, we went there. My mom went on it while my dad waited with my sister and I, and then my dad went on it while my mom waited with my sister and I. And they're like, oh, it's okay, it's okay. And we went on it, and it was the most terrifying freaking thing I've ever seen. But now, yeah. I'm of an age that I would appreciate that, I really want to go on it. But it doesn't exist anymore, so it makes me really sad. So, I want to voice my concern about this. If they do, if let's say they go through the deal with Fox, how are they going to handle it? Are they going to let, are they going to actually guide the rights to a good movie? Or are they going to do what they've done with Marvel and what they've done with um, Star Wars and let, let them put all devices? What? Do you think the Marvel's current, going bad? The current plan. No, I'm saying because anything Fox does has been kind of bad with X. So what my concern is is are they gonna be are they gonna have a heavy hand in changing that? Or are they gonna do what Marvel and 
what Marvel and uh, Lucas and Films has done, and just let them do their own thing and just say, "Hey, we own you." Or would they do something like Marvel did with uh, Sony to get Spider-Man rights? Uh, it'll be more like Sony, I think. Yeah, they didn't outright yeah, buy they... it, but they just kind of reached an agreement. And Sony, towards the end of it, Sony was like, yeah, fuck it, you can but have them. That's still, yeah. like I said, what I'm wondering is, are they going to actually, unlike what they have done with Marvel and Lucasfilms, are they actually going to have a hand in making a movie, or are they going to just leave the studio to do to its own vice and just own the right? It'll be, it'll be Marvel Studios making it. Well, it'll be Marvel Studios. It'll be Marvel Studios making it. Fox gets to release it. That's, that's probably what the deal is. Um, I mean, if, what if Disney a, buys Fox altogether, that they, won't be the case. They, Right, right, right. No, they'll they'll frickin' they'll do they'll be like, nah, Disney's releasing this shit. That's the Which, other part of the By news. the way, that's uh, actually kind of a scary thought. Part, no. That's kind of a scary thought because that also kind of means that Deadpool two uh may get put on hold because you know there's no way in hell Disney's gonna release an R rated uh Deadpool movie. I don't know. If again if they just leave, if it's just if it's just what they've been doing and, and be like, Yeah, we we own you, but you guys have free control reign. They could have free reign. Mm -hmm. I think more of what it would be is instead of like Marvel taking creative control or whatever, it just gives Marvel permission to use the X Men characters from Fox in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Mm -hmm. So all I know is Deadpool. that I want. <laughs> With the Avengers. All, the Avengers. all I know is that I want one scene. One scene in all of the cinematic universe. Actually, there's two scenes. Two scenes I want in all of the cinematic universe. The first one is with Deadpool. What I want him to do is the very minute he sees Captain America to absolutely freak out, beg for his autograph, and when Captain America finally agrees... He pulls out the comic where Captain America turned tail and joined Hydra, yeah. and has him sign oh. that. Yeah. Oh, I hope they do a gag want, with him. With the other, do a gag with him. The other scene that I really, really want is I really want uh, as an end credit scene can be for any movie, doesn't matter. But as an end credit scene, have uh, Stan Lee uh, cleaning Thor's apartment. And he gets to where the hammer is sitting on a table and just lifts the hammer, dusts under the table, and puts it right back down. Mm -hmm. I feel like that would be the best way to just stop having Stanley do cameos. Let that be his last cameo. Okay. Uh, part two of Marvel of Marvel Talks. I don't actually have a source for this one ready at the moment because I just thought of it. Uh, but earlier I heard okay. that... Disney might be launching their own streaming services and removing the rights yeah. from <laughs> Netflix to do their Marvel stuff. Yeah, I think I heard that too. That's only I a mean, rumor at this point, but, but be that, ready that, for that, something that, like that happening. That does make sense because they have been pulling this stuff off. They're trying to get rights to X-Men, which if you had the rights to X-Men and making a new X-Men series for your service, that would draw in a lot of people. Yeah, but still, man, I don't but want Netflix is. to lose its rights to make those things. Incidentally, The Gifted is really good. If, you, if you've if you never had a chance to watch that, the new X-Men TV series is actually really, really Isn't well Isn't that the done. whole one? Uh, no, that's New Mutants, and that comes out next year. Okay. Or no, that's it's not New Mutants. Okay. What it, I'll, I'll look it up later, which one's the one that's yeah. going to be a horror movie. Yeah. All right, moving on to the next one. Pretty uh, sure it's the next one. pretty sure it's uh, New Mutants, though. But anyway, on to the next segment. Uh, no, not that's not all the news I have. Well, okay, all right, continue. Uh, the next one's a lot less big. Uh, we're just talking about uh, level five is getting ready to work on a Professor Layton game for the Switch. Uh, what? Which a lot of people are really freaking excited about. Okay. Wait, is it his daughter or is it actually Professor Layton? His uh, daughter. Yeah, I'm not too sure on that. I know that the biggest sure concern they have right now the is that yeah. Professor Layton is a very touch-heavy game. And so they're trying to work out a way where they can make touch work with a Switch 
uh, even though it's a device that's also supposed to be docked. Alright. So that's kind of the big roadblock right there. Uh, but it's definitely in the plans. Controlly. That's so, the only thing I can imagine. Uh, in further news, uh, Switch releases. Doom just released yesterday on the Switch. They're on the Switch. They're also working on. It's currently just in the rumor mill, but Nintendo has not denied it that they are working on remakes of Pokemon Red and Blue for the Switch. Oh, that'd be uh, alright. And then Skyrim comes out next week on the Switch. Okay. Yay! Another like Skyrim game release. Came out in 2011. Yeah. I can't wait to look stupid as I swing my sword with a motion controller because that's the only reason why I'm going to ever buy Skyrim from my Switch is to use the fucking motion the controller. Only I mean, I'm f- buying Skyrim for the Switch is because of the Legend of Zelda shit. This is the yeah, only reason I would feel like consider getting it. And all like, the You could probably get it on PC in much and better quality. Well, and yeah. a lot more. It has all the DLC. And yeah, portable. I already have it on the PC. I want it for the Switch. No, I was to say, so does the PS4 version. And the PC. So does the oh, yeah. Xbox One but version. It's portable. And then, uh, while Netflix See, that's still... See, that's the only other reason to buy it. Yeah, so while Netflix still does have the rights to uh, the Marvel stuff, uh, The Punisher is coming out next week. Oh, they finally releasing it? Yeah, so uh, check that on on there, and then in a couple of weeks you'll see the Runaways on Hulu from Marvel. Jeez. And then also, Agents of Shield is on its final season. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Uh, finally, not really. The sh- not really. That's what I said. Not really, because What's not really to me, because Agents of Shields kind of ran dry. Yeah, it's possible. I have not actually been keeping up with it last couple of seasons, so that's my bad. Anyway, uh, movie releases. Justice League releases on the seventeenth. Uh, I don't know how many of you are DC fans or Marvel fans, but uh, there you go. And then Disney Pixar is releasing a new film uh, called Coco oh, on the twenty yeah. second, and it's about a musician, which I'm totally into, so I'll go see it. It's about freaking Mexican culture. Yeah, it's like it's like the Day of the Dead is what it looks like. Uh, the the whole holiday they have. But definitely interested in that. I'm gonna go check that out and I'll talk about it later. All righty, are you done, Miss Ember? Yes. I'm to turn the microphone over to a segment that's going to be a tag team between lightning and phaser where they talk about games and vr all right so real quick out of all the games we i have a whole repertoire of games to choose from um this week game i've been really playing was destiny 2. i've actually been loved with destiny 2 which is surprising as because it's a vanilla destiny game and we all know how shit it is and the first one was this one actually, one, has a story. I'll tell you right now, it actually legitimately has a story that's actually decent. The gameplay is really, really nice. It's on PC. It feels amazing to play on PC. And so far, it's just it's just been a good game, and I can't wait for the expansion. It's actually been enjoyable. It feels like, a, it feels more fleshed nice. out. The classes, more flesh- the classes have, um actually decent options to go with those not just always shooting you can like this it's it feels like an mmo it unlike when the first one felt like it was just a stupid halo ripoff this actually feels like it's like it's a stupid halo ripoff mmo but it feels like an mmo i feel like i have option classes so if any of you don't mind spending 60 bucks or you want to wait for it to go on sale totally pick up destiny 2 it's not it's actually a good game I'm getting it for free. Well, I have osteoporosis, so take that. Oh. I don't. Wait, 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 I, med- I, medical I was doing an old meme. Lightning. It was just an old meme. Anyways, that, that is my segment. Go buy the game. If you buy it <laughs> on PC, add me. I love play- I'll be getting it on PC because I got a, a GTX. Cool. 880. We need to do the raid. <laughs> is, is it out on PC yet? Yeah, I'm playing it right oh. now on PC. Oh. 
<laughs> I've been playing it the quickly. Ago, so. Like, have you not heard the thing about all the bands and stuff? Yeah. Okay. So the bands is actually um the issue with that was the streaming software OBS, and I think they have fixed that. Um, like, as far as I know, from what I've heard, they denied anything and said it was all cheating software. Yeah, no, no Bungie won't software. admit that they fucked up that badly because OBS sometimes gets uh, detected as cheating the software because it has an in-game uh, component, like it like has like the the screen, the recording, kind of just like in games itself. Which I, I was some a lot reason of saying it might be shadow play. That too, it shadow actually, play also fucked up. A it lot. actually has a hook in in to uh, put an overlay on the game. Yeah. So what happened was, is the cheating software they were, uh, the anti-cheat they were using was detecting it and thinking it was a cheat because it was um, changing the game code a little bit to do the in-game overlay to see what was going on to record your gameplay. So that what was going on. But Bungie won't fully admit that. So this is all just speculation, and from what I've heard. Otherwise, just don't record it. You'll be fine. I think they fixed it by now. But uh, you want to play a good shooter that isn't fucking Why Overwatch. They, isn't there a demo that you can try to make sure? Uh, you don't get banned? I don't know. Anyways, uh, I will let Faison move on because we are short on time. <laughs> oh, is it my turn? Okay. So uh, what I guess I should talk about uh, for those of you who remember me and I'm don't because I've been gone for two and a half years or something like that is what I've been doing while I'm away. Um, my big Who hobby that I got into last, my yeah, that I got into last uh, summer was a uh, first person view drone racing. So that's where I build a, a quadcopter, a drone, put a camera on it, wear special goggles that let me see from the camera and fly really freaking fast. And it's fun. Um, so yeah, we, we set up gates, there's clubs that I'm in and, uh, we set up races and I'm not very good at it yet. In fact, just, uh, a month or so ago, I, um, was flying out over a lake and crashed into the water and lost my drone and my GoPro, which was sad. But, um, Man, yeah, so that's break those things. <laughs> Oh, I just break them a lot. Guys, I just casually lost my drone and my GoPro. It was kind of sad. I I meant the GoPro. I thought those things could handle, like, getting crushed by freaking cars. I mean, I'm sure the GoPro is absolutely fine, probably even still recording until the battery went out, but it's at the bottom of the lake. And so I couldn't retrieve it. It (laughs) No, I had no idea specifically where it was, and it's like an 80-foot deep lake. So... You could uh, be like that one guy on YouTube who just free dives everywhere and just finds motor yeah, weapons. I was seriously just ready to go diving in after it if we could find any hint of where it may have landed. But I didn't have goggles. I didn't have anything like that. So, yeah. But anyway, it, I was more upset about the GoPro loss and specifically about the footage that was on it because there was some pretty stuff. Um, but, yeah, you spend more time at the workbench than... Um, than flying really because there's a lot of fixing because they break that, was awesome. that that happens when you run into a tree at 60 miles an hour yeah i can relate on the fixing stuff because cosplaying is a bitch mm-hmm. most of the times i'm just i'm not even cosplaying i'm fixing my fuck ups mm-hmm. so i can relate to that fixing. so the other thing that i've been doing and this is more recent thing like within the past few weeks is um i found a kickstarter project for the Pimax 8K virtual reality headset. And I've always wanted to do virtual reality. In fact, when I uh, built my PC, I specifically built it to be able to handle virtual reality. Um, And it was a crazy ride for the the Kickstarter. Kickstarter. The Kickstarter. uh, (laughs) New Kickstarter. Um, The Kickstarter. It yeah, it had its a uh, two hundred thousand dollar goal, which is pretty low for a piece of tech like that, and they raised four million two hundred and thirty six dollars and some six hundred and eighteen exactly yeah. yeah. So that is over. That's like one thousand one hundred one hundred and seventeen percent funded, 
They basically um, reached their goal and then just made like four million more. Yeah, basically. Um, uh, so it's, it's like Bloodstain, uh, where it's <laughs> where it made like fifteen can I just million point more out than its goal. The last big project to get over it, a million was the Ouya. Yeah, <laughs> that that's up there. The only uh, also the only Shenmue the, three. The only uh, kicks. The only Kickstarter I'm part of right now is for the Explosum game. Mm. I also backed the the Ruby board game. I backed. I, the, I uh, wanted that. The only games I backed was um the Ruby video game, and um I backed them fighting words, or mm -hmm. them fighting words. And um Bloodstained. I can't fucking wait for Bloodstained. Yeah, but this is kind of interesting. It's they claim it to be four K or eight K, but it's not really eight K. It's a 4K screen per eye. So, yeah, 4K, 4K is 8K, right? Uh, I mean, if but, you know, I'm 16K. Mm, but yeah, so um, they have that. And the big draw of it is its field of view. If you think about this, the, um, the field of view of the big VR headsets that are out now, like the Oculus Rift and the... Uh, HTC Vive is um, 110 degrees. So really, you're looking through the world at the world through like toilet paper tubes or something like that. Um, the field of view for this Pimax 8K is 200 degrees. And to put that in perspective, the field of view of the human eyeball, what people see naturally, is 220. So. This is going to be so immersive, and it really reduces the screen door effect that the other ones have because you're looking at a screen so incredibly close. Um, but I'm excited for it. Yeah, there's some comparisons and stuff out here. Uh, but that, that's not coming until February, so I have a long wait. But yeah, that's, that's kind of... I've been uh, d immersed in the culture that is virtual reality in preparation for getting my headset. So I when I do get it, I will probably be there. There's your comparison for the field of view <laughs> and the screen door effect. Um, you know, what? when I do get it, I'm sure you'll hear about it. You know what I want? Alrighty. I want, I want, I want, I want that sword out online want. bullshit. I want to be stuck in a video game. Actually, <laughs> um, part of what I, I've, I've been, game that I've been in is VR chat, which is kind of just an open world VR chat room. They actually have some Sword Art Online rooms, like where oh, you're actually in the world of Sword Art Online. I've and I'm the other day I was sure on. There's an actual uh, Sword Art Wait, VR like... game that recently came out. It might be, I don't know. Yeah, there totally is. Um, oh, guys, it's going to end up being like... dot .hack. Maybe. Hey, they also just hashtag released the needs more pack. being the Rick and Morty. Yeah, they they released the new um the the second game that has it's all the, the second series. Yeah, second series that has a special fourth chap. I need to actually start playing that. I have that. Yeah, but it was it was kind of interesting. I was in the like the main hub hub world the other day of VR chat, and the whole I... sky popped up with like alerts and special announcements or something like it does in a. All right, this, sort this is a conversation for after the show. We'll yeah, yeah sorry. Right. But that's that's what I'm hyped about. All righty, then. We are coming to the close of our show. Uh, real quick, I was going to do a summer movie rundown. Uh, but basically, I'm going to condense it down to what I believe were the top five uh, movies of the summer without spoilers. So here goes. Ah, that was the sound of my knuckles cracking, if you could hear that. Uh, basically, uh, coming in at number five. Fuck, I actually didn't have this. Okay, coming in at number five, uh, believe it or not, is the My Little Pony movie, uh, which we will not be discussing tonight. But uh, we will be doing a special episode of it. Uh, later down the road, uh, more specifically after it's been streamed on here on Brony TV. Um, number four, coming in at number four, uh, would be let's do uh, murder. I wouldn't call it a summer movie per se, 
but definitely a good movie that I just saw today, actually, was Murder on the Orient Express. Oh, shoot, that came out today? Uh, I definitely Came out yesterday, yes. Uh, I definitely recommend going to go see that uh, if if you get a chance. It is really good. It's got no. Uh, it's a it's a really? remake of an old old movie that is in turn book. based on an Agatha, Agatha Christie book. Mm, is it? Is not like um. Uh, but I definitely like um. I don't have time to discuss it. Sorry. I'll, I'll talk we to we you are later. that short on time. I'll, I'll talk to you later. Okay. Uh, number three for this summer uh, would be. I remember everything that's actually come out this summer. It's been that. Crazy! Oh, Spider-Man: Homecoming uh, comes in at number three. That movie was freaking hilarious, and I loved Michael Keaton as the Vulture. Spider-Man villain. You mean Iron Damn Man? It, my 4 microphone cut out. Spider-Man. You mean Iron? Funny. <laughs> but basically, uh, to me, Vulture was definitely the best villain since Doc Ock. Um. Coming in at number two, Thor Ragnarok. <laughs> I haven't seen it. Uh, uh, oh my god. More than makes up for Dark World, which I hated with a passion. I've heard it's quite this funny. This one is... This it's one... Oh, no, it's hilarious. And a lot of great cameos, a lot of great little side jokes for the rest of the series. And a great lead-in to the Infinity War that's coming up. And coming in at number coming in at number one for movies this summer, hell this year, um, most surprisingly to me, given my hatred for DC movies right now, Wonder, Wonder Woman. Woman. Oh yes. Well, it's, it was still Wonder a Woman. Phase of movie. Wonder it Woman. Was of right. And even if it even if it wasn't part of the what they're calling the DC verse right now. Or the DC Mar the DC Avengers verse or Justice League verse, whatever you want to call I, it. I think it's pronounced. Even rip. if it wasn't part of that, I think it's pronounced. Rip. Right, it was definitely a great standalone by itself. Like easily the best superhero movie I've seen in a, in a long time. Mm. Uh, freaking loved it. The girl playing Wonder Woman, her accent can get a little annoying at times. But she's still amazing in the part. And I honestly Down don't the think they could cast anybody else better. Down the I just not want to her. state right now, I am judging you intently for not including Dunkirk on there. I, I'm you surprised know, I didn't mention did Guardians of the Galaxy. Galaxy. I didn't mention Guardians of the Galaxy. Well, it really wasn't a summer film, and I was trying to keep this within the last few uh -huh. months. Oh, okay. I still haven't seen that either. But... I actually did not get to see Dunkirk. I was actually really disappointed how fast that came and went in theaters. Did it really not stick? Did it no, really not stick around in theaters? Really not stick it. it did not. And believe it or not, My Little Pony actually lasted longer in theaters than Dunkirk did. Man, that sucks. Uh, My Little Pony. Man, that sucks. Pony is still running in a few theaters here and there, whereas Dunkirk was in and out within three weeks. That's a really... Anyway, folks. That's a really... Yes, indeed. Anyway, folks, that's actually all the time we have for this episode this season. Or, god damn it. Yeah, this but episode. Not, time done. All the time we have for the episode. That's all the time the we end. have for this week. That's all the time we have for this week. Uh, I would like to thank our guests for coming in this week. Even though I call you guys guests, you're probably going to be here every week when you can be. Oh, co-hosts? Co-hosts? Yeah, oh, co-hosts sounds about right. I've been... Once I... again, I'd like to thank my co-hosts for coming... Coming. Can you guys still hear me? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. My computer's messing up. Shit. Mm. It's okay, we got Let's like two minutes left. <laughs> really, right now? You're gonna do this right fucking now? Okay, uh, let me do credits real quick. Fine, so. Let me do credits real quick. Okay, so if you're watching live, you can get any of the... Really? Come on! Yes, thank you. Uh, if you're watching live, you can get any of the links from me. Uh, just ask me in chat. If you are watching on YouTube, you can get the links for everything down in the description. 
Uh, if you want to send us any mail, uh, we don't actually have a mailing address or an email address set up right now, but you can always PM me in our Discord chat on Bernie TV. Uh, you can make a message in the comments below if you're watching on YouTube. Uh, that's pretty you much can all I got. Do my PayPal. Uh, we don't have anything to donate right now. Lightning, and we're not donating it to you personally. Thank you. God damn it! <laughs> I'll take I'll here take this. Go. That's my advertisement. Am I, so, am I back? Am I back? Yes, you're here. You've been here. Right, are we still on? We are still on. You're free to finish oh. out. Okay, sorry, sorry, Mike. Sorry, my computer froze. Sorry about that, everybody. Uh, it just decided it didn't want to uh, let me finish this out for some go. reason. Sorry about that. But anyway, I'd like to thank my co-hosts for joining me this week. And we will do this again next week. So get off my cloud. whatever the hell anyway, episodes what? are next. It's funny, I don't actually have a cloud anymore and I'm sad about it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's all the time we got. I will see you. We will see you next week. Everyone have a great week. Till then, bye!